Hey guys, my name is Quasson, and today I'm going to be playing some DCS. Now, if you don't know what DCS is, it's an extremely realistic flight simulator. And uh, you can shoot down aircraft, you can, you can uh, use air to ground missiles on SAM sites, and you can even use bombs to destroy aircraft carriers and other mobile troops. And, um,. I really like it, it's really realistic and it's quite a challenge, one of the most challenging games I've ever played. And um, I'm really enjoying it right now. I've only had the game for like a week and I thought it would be a lot harder but it's actually been pretty good. And I really like it and I, I've, I've, I think I've progressed quite a lot. And, uh, at the start, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even, like, start the plane. I didn't even have the controls mapped out right. And, uh, now I'm killing people in multiplayer with these. So, I guess I'll show you the clips and, uh, let's just get into it. So, on day one, I started off with a takeoff. And uh, I was listening to another video of how to do a cold start, and uh, I can't, just to, uh, not to do a complete cold start, but just to learn some things in the cockpit, like tell me what it is. And I was also listening to the tutorial guy in DCS while I was taking off, and uh, and yeah, so I took off and then crashed. Well, I purposely crashed actually. So okay, so after that. I thought I'd jump into some tutorial missions of how to use the radar and how to shoot aim 9 xs And uh, at the time it seemed really, really confusing. But uh, I, I did end up doing it. It was actually, it was quite a challenge because I was like, approaching the guy. <clears throat> and uh, this is like my first day ever using a flight stick. And I could not get my nose on them properly. I was just... It's when you first do something like this, you know, you're not that steady. You're, you're not that smooth. You're really, like, rigid and all that. And, uh... I did end up getting them, but it was a bit... <laughs> it was a bit messy. So, actually, after I shot the MiG down, I did go for a bit of free flight, just messing around, see what I, I could do. And, uh... This is just like my testing phase because I, I've always liked the F-16 the moment I saw it in a video. But uh, yeah, I was just trying it out, see what it could do, like how much it would, how much it would turn if you pulled like uh, far down on the stick. Okay, so this is day two and on day two I got track IR and uh... The mouse was really pissing me off and I wanted to track IR anyway and uh, it was a bit weird at first but otherwise. Okay so we went into an intercept and um, this is the first time I ever did an intercept and I only knew how to use aim 9 xs So I only had two missiles with two bandits and uh... Wait, no, lost up. Merged. Oh, crap. Wait a minute! Who are you? Okay, this is very weird. 
So right now it's day three and I'm doing the same thing again so I can like get used to the air to air combat a bit and how the air to air modes work. And um, I'm doing the same 2v2, uh, me and an AI versus two AI. Now, I've, I think I realised how to uh, how to use aim 120s and also aim 9x's so I could actually radar lock like uh, medium range missiles which was pretty good and very useful because if I didn't know that you can't really do much like 20 to 30 mile shots which are kind of important okay. Come on, I need a halfway point. Oh my god. So, if you didn't know what just happened there, the SU 27s and the MiG 31s have R 70s which don't come up on RWR. An RWR is like a mini miniature like that little circle in your cockpit which tells you if people are locking you up or if their radar is hitting you. And it's very useful piece of kit. But um, the R seventies can't be detected by that and sometimes it's very annoying because you don't know it's coming and you're just you're you're just there and you kind of have to use some instincts because if you're in 20 miles and no one's fired a missile you gotta know maybe they're using that kind of missile because yeah it's 20 miles and someone's gonna fire a missile at that range definitely so there i didn't really think about it didn't look around that's my fault that one So, I just defeated the missile that the bandit sent me and I killed one of the bandits. And uh, when the beeping stopped that means I, that means I, uh, I defeated the missile, it ran out of fuel. And the missile I fired, uh, fired earlier hit the bandit. And while uh, running away from that missile, you could hear it stop and then start again the beeping. And this is called Pitbull. And it's when it stops using the plane's radar and use its own radar so the plane can go defensive. Because if it, if it didn't, the plane would have to keep tracking it until it hit. And it would be extremely bad if, they, if it worked like that because their plane wouldn't be able to go defensive without, without uh, losing lock. But there's also a thing called bore. And it's where you fire the missile and you track it for about 20 seconds and then you, you let off of it before it goes pitbull. And a lot of people say it's like an a A10 bomb where you stop controlling it and it opens its eyes and you, you can control it. And it's like it's opening its eye and it locks onto whatever it sees. And I never really used the mode, I didn't really get it, I just stuck to what I know. Altitude. 
Okay, so after I killed that bandit with that missile at close range, I uh, I got onto the other one. I had no more missiles left. I actually had two, but I didn't know how to use them, and they're not really good at close range. And uh, I'm pretty sure I was in a dogfight with him, and it, this was one of my like fun bits. It's when you, you're not great at like everything in the plane. You're pretty bad. But you're, you're trying your best just to, like, get your nose on him and try and kill him. And, you know, when you finally do it, it's such a good feeling. Because it's just, it's, it's rewarding. Because you never thought you'd be able to do it, but and you just, you've done it, you know? So I, j I forgot to record when I went into multiplayer. So, here is our bandit. Right here. At 31 feet, he's, uh, he's after burner. Wait, what? Okay, so this here is called an RWR. It's a uh, radar radar warning system, and um, it was not working because on the server that I play on, that it doesn't it you automatically start up, and it's just like that, and uh, it doesn't turn the RWR on, and that's the reason why I couldn't hear him fire a missile, and I don't really know why I wasn't actually locking him up, but yeah. No, he has not been flying formation. Well, I should have expected that. I should have. So on day six, I uh, started up a new server and I was just refueling and rearming. Uh, we didn't get any day 5 clips because they are all really bad quality. Uh, sorry for that, but it is what it is. But, um, day 6 is pretty good. Request refueling. The rainbow camped. Oh, yeah, actually. Why do you put the furnace there? Oh, it's not touching. Okay, you'll be safe, so. We still being built up. Um, probably not. Right. Mike. Sorry.
Wait, what? Shit, uh, no fuck, no fuck. Yep. So a Mirage 2000 locked me up, and um, I instantly went defensive when he stopped locking because I thought he might send a a heat seeker missile or a a radar, uh, not radar, <laughs> a missile that doesn't come up on RWR. So I instantly went defensive, thinking about it, looked back, and uh, I didn't see much, but I knew that a missile was sent. No. Track them well. Go on. Hello guys, this is the final day, day 7, 
And uh, yeah, kind of excited. Let's just uh, get up in the air. But before we do that, I absolutely hate this because you spawn, you spawn in with everything turned on. Not everything, so these need to be turned on. And all these are on. Actually, no, don't need all these. Oh, that one and that one. What really pissed me off first, first of all, is that um, you have your chaffs on. You have to switch it to manual. It doesn't do that. Or, so then, you need to power mode. There we go. So this is our RWR tells us if we're getting locked up. Um, this is our thing, so what have we got? Two M120s and two M9Xs, okay. That's, um, H and F1. Let's take off. Eighty percent will keep a the RWRs on the arrows are there. Oh, oh, something just came up on my radar. Can't be any enemies, so we should be good. Okay, uh, gear is up. Okay, out of the afterburner. Confirm something. Who have got locked? Enjoy that. Fired a missile. What? I wasn't even close. Yep. Um, 
Go. They definitely did not like that. Oh, he's already he's already on this rock. Oh, he sent two. Hey, bitch! Oh! Shit! Wanna play rough? Let's play rough! Say hello to my little friend! No! I got one more. About to get one off. Yeah, we're Oh shit! How many missiles does this dude have? What the fuck is this? Turn into this missile. I think he hit that one. Bingo. Bingo. Dude, this guy has 12 missiles. No, how many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. He has eight missiles. So guys, uh, that's the end of this video, and um, I'm sorry day 7 was quite a long one. Even though I lost that fight, that was probably the most enjoyable, dodging m missiles, running from missiles and all that. Um, this My first week of DCS was really fun, jam-packed, and I really liked it, and I, I still really like the game. It's amazing, and I recommend buying it. But uh, that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.